Well, hey everyone, welcome back to the cabin. This is Q&A Sunday number 16. Before I get started, I just wanted to thank everyone for all the well wishes. A lot of people showing concern about my health and I really appreciate all the kind words and the prayers and everything. It's great. I love my subscribers. I love corresponding with you all, all your comments. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. So keep it up. <laughs> All right, let's get started. As you can see, I'm out on the sunny porch, the shady porch today. Today's the hottest day that we've had so far here on the mountain. So I'm outside doing the Q&A. And one question I'm going to address right away, there was a lot of questions about the frying pan that was behind me in the last one. And I know when I, when I was watching the footage, it looked like there was a big hole blown in that frying pan. <laughs> There wasn't. That frying pan's a family heirloom. It's, that's one of my treasures. But um, when I sat down to film that, I noticed that there was a frying pan missing on the wall because it was dirty from breakfast. <laughs> so I just hung it back on the wall, you know, so it wasn't a blank spot behind me. And uh, after when I was filming it, there was just the soot mark because one of the burners on the antique gas stove. Now the gas stove we use, I think, I'm guessing that it's 1920s to 30s vintage. So one of the burners doesn't burn real clean and it left a soot mark on the underside of the pan. And just the way that the light was reflecting off of it looked like a big hole. And I knew people would comment on it and they did. <laughs> All right, let's get to the questions. Are you going to build a summer kitchen? No, I'm not. Building a summer kitchen will be just one more thing for me to pay taxes on. The cabin never gets hot in the summertime. These mountain nights here, it cools right down. Like I said before, we sleep all winter long with nothing but a sheet because the wood stove's going 24 hours a day. But in the summertime, there's no wood stove going. And the, t and the cabin really cools down, man. I sleep with a blanket every night. And sometimes I'm pulling up the bedspread over myself when I get up around 4 in the morning. So it's nice and cool. Even here, we went to town earlier. It was blazing hot on the pavement. It's much cooler here, especially here on the porch. Got a nice breeze. The flag's blowing. I'm loving it. All right. Next question. When out in the woods, do you carry any kind of location, beacon, or GPS, or tracking signal? No, I don't. The only electronics I ever carry are my cameras. I rarely ever take my phone with me. And I know, huh, I know a lot of people aren't going to agree with that. <laughs> but I want to get away from all of that when I go out in the woods. The only time I take my phone or... I'm not going to say the only time, but most of the time, if I ever take my phone, it's during hunting season. Because if I'm out in the woods and I'm, and I'm tracking an animal, I don't give up. So I need to call home so Lori doesn't worry about me because I might stay out all night. I don't give up on a blood trail. I'll be out there for as long as it takes. So I'll bring my phone with me, but the rest of the times, nope, I don't want to have it out there with me and if I get hurt well that's just it I'll deal with it lots of questions ever since I showed uh, any time that I show the trout fishing I get a lot of questions just like this what do I use for bait what's on the end of my line what's the tackle I use etc these little panther martin lures these little spinners here are what I always use these are the two colors this black with the little dots on it and then the yellow with the dots on it. I used to use MEPS years ago but they don't spin like they used to and I gave up on them and the MEPS were sized as double zero, a zero, and a number one. So this is what I use all the time and I'm, I'll put the link in the description below for you and there's a couple other colors that I prefer too and I will show them down there as well. They work dandy for trout. Yep. 
Are you going to do any metal detecting around those old foundations? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, one of my subscribers sent me an uh, old metal detector, but an old, it was an old Garrett, a nice, nice old rig. It works great, and uh, that's still in New York. I've got to get it here, and I do plan on doing some metal detecting, and I will take you along on those adventures. My pack basket. Lots of questions about my pack basket. Okay. This pack basket was made by the Amish. It was custom made. It's a real attractive one. It came with handmade leather straps. But carrying it on your back is uncomfortable as hell. This And there's a lot of questions about my pack frame. Well, this pack frame I bought probably 35 years ago. I've had it for a long time. And I know that the pack basket and the aluminum frame kind of clash. You know, this is old school and this is more not high tech, but you know what I mean. But put in the pack basket on the, on the frame. I got the padded straps. I got the padded belt. It works out really good. I like using the pack basket when I'm out on a mission where I'm doing a lot of filming. Because my tripod goes in and out, I have my camera bag, all that stuff right in there, and it's easy access. I take this off, put it down, reach in, grab my tripod. I don't have to keep tying things on the pack. Works out fantastic, and it's nice. It's, it's nice looking. So uh, I put a link down in the description below to a pack frame that's very similar in quality and price to what I use. You don't need to spend a fortune on it. This pack frame's around 70 bucks or some, something like that. And it distributes the load really good. Highly recommend it. Okay, much, much more convenient and comfortable than wearing just the basket. Alrighty. What do you use for a poison ivy remedy? Quite a while back, I posted a video on how to make your own remedy out of jewelweed. Okay, I'll put a link right up here, show you how to do it. I've been getting poison ivy, poison oak, poison sumac all my life. And none of the commercial remedies really work. They offer very little relief. And that's it. It's relief, but no cure. This concoction that I teach you how to make will wipe it out. Okay, I'm not even going to get into all the details. Make some of that, make the little ice cubes, put them in your freezer, keep them in your freezer. Whenever you need one, just rub that ice cube on your skin. Any kind of skin irritation. I've had people write to me and they said, I don't know, psoriasis or I don't, that's not what it is. But it was some skin irritation and it took all the symptoms away. Give it a try. And jewelweed's really easy to find. Just go in some wet area. The ditches on the side of the road. Yeah. Show you how to make it right there. Alrighty. Ah, uh, I'm going to just do one more and wrap it up. Okay. Uh, might take the kayak down to the lake for a while. Since you haven't built a garage, this is a really, really good question. Since you haven't built a garage for your machines yet, did you have any trouble starting your Ranger when it sat outside in the sub-zero temperatures? Well, I covered it with a tarp just to, so I didn't have to be scraping the windshield and all that stuff. But I never tried to start it when it sat for several days out in below zero temps. What I did was I draped another tarp over it. And I put my generator under the tarp and ran the generator for a while while I was charging my battery bank. The heat from the generator thawed the machine out, started right up, no problem at all. Hopefully that ought to do it. I hate to start the machine when it's stone cold because it hasn't been started in about a week. It's been below zero for four days in a row and single digits before that. Everything's been fine up here, but the only thing we're out of is eggs and wine. 
tomorrow's New Year's Eve. I'd like to ring in the new year with a little wine. So we're going to try and get down the mountain, hit the post office, stuff like that. I wanted to charge up the batteries here anyway, charge up the laptops and everything else all at the same time. Might as well make the most of everything. Use the byproduct from the generator, which is heat. Trap it under the machine the best I can. Hopefully just bring up the machine a few degrees, get it cranked up, head to town. Yeah, so we're almost ready to ring in the new year. Want to get some good food, a couple little treats, some snacks, come back up the mountain and hibernate some more. Yeah, so far so good. So it worked dual purpose. Ran the generator for a little while, put a charge on the batteries, thawed out the machine. Yeah. Not just a hat rack, my friend. <laughs> so that is it for now, folks. I just wanted to send out a quick Q&A to you all. I hope you all having a great Sunday. And all the best to you. And God bless. Frank and the boss out of walking in the woods. Living life happy and free. Tracks in the snow everywhere they go There's a pokey way up in that tree A beaver built a pond where they have some fun Taking life a day at a time Best friends until the end Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss Frankie and the boss